Hello everyone and welcome to day 10 of the Advent message. Really beautiful, loving this calendar right now, feeling in the Christmas spirit again today. So much power flowing in. And I've had a look where the number 10 is and it's on the Christmas tree again. Absolutely beautiful. So again, doors opening, magic and power. So before I open the doorway, I'm going to pull the cards from the Magic of Unicorns and the Love and Light Oracle. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, on this day? Wow, straight out there. What do we need to know, please, on this day? What's the energy, please, angels, for this day? What do we need to know? So let's open the doorway. And thank you so much for all the beautiful comments. And, you know, I love that you are loving this calendar and the energy and gaining the Christmas spirit. And it means so much to me. So number 10, and 10 is about power. Wow, we've got Santa waving, okay? Santa waving, and look at this. What I'm feeling with this, can you see there? He's like dressed up. I'm pretty sure that is Santa, but it looks like he's waving here. So I feel that's a big sign about leaving the past behind. And you know, this is so powerful because I've just recorded the member's advent message for today, and it's all about forgiveness and forgiving someone from the past that may have hurt you you know not necessarily your twin it could be a family member a friend forgiving helps you to release them with love and move forward with faith and move forward to a new beginning so there's a lot of forgiveness energy coming in around this day today and i feel this especially with the lamppost because there's many many lampposts there as well he's walking down this snowy road and there's many, many lampposts. So he's being guided. He's being guided every step of the way. And he's also waving goodbye to the past and saying hello to the future. So there's a big sign here about karmic endings, about releasing what needs to go, walking away from the past, healing it with love, you know, completion, ending for a new beginning. So I am seeing this as a karmic cycle breaking, the masculine releasing the karmic partner and the divine feminine releasing the past. So big sign of change. And obviously Santa as well is bringing magic into the lives of children. He's opening your heart and he's bringing in presents and gifts. So another sign about what's to come. So the message we've got then is be a beacon. Wow. And I love this because when we are a beacon of light, we guide others. We inspire we lead, we lead by example. It says, be an inspiration and light the way for others. So today be that light, shine that light bright, be an inspiration by forgiving the past, by letting go of resentment or pain or blame and standing strong in your power because you know who you are and you are an inspiration and a guide to everyone you meet. So this could be your children, your family, your friends, other divine feminines that you are guiding and healing. It could be your twin flame. You're inspiring to others today. You are a light. You are the light of the world and you are a light worker, which means you're here to work your light. You're here to shine your light bright and share that love and light with the world. So be a beacon today and that will bring in healing energy, it will protect you and guide you. So the angels are guiding you and you're guiding others to be the best version of yourself. And we've got gentleness as the path of peace. Love it. So be very gentle today. Gentle with yourself. You may see lambs. So you may see Santas. You may see things connected with forgiveness today. And I feel spiders too because spiders came up in the Advent message for members today. You know, I do it different every day. You know, one day I'll record this message first, then that one, one day I'll do that one, then this one, but everything has a reason and a plan and is interlinking, so I feel you're going to see spiders today as a big sign that the universe has your back, and that the world wide web, the spider's web, the world wide web, the internet, is also a way that the universe is creating the way to heal rifts and bring people together, it says, the lamb, and remember, we're given the lamb. So you may see a lamb too. Lambs are connected with gentleness. Okay, the, the line says, the Lord is my shepherd. I have all I need. And, you know, we are the lamb, you know, that Jesus was the lamb. So you may see lambs today. You could see shepherds today or shepherds 
sticks. You know, they're showing me like in Toy Story with Bo Peep, you know, and she holds that kind of shepherd stick, whatever it's called. And I have all that I need. So you're being given everything you need in every moment. You have all you need when you know that God is your source and that Jesus is around you right now, helping you to feel very gentle, loving, compassionate and kind, to have empathy for others and understanding for what we all go through on this journey. So the path of peace, which is always the best path, you know, it's always the path that leads to the right place and the right answers. The path of least resistance is always the path of peace. Follow your heart. And I remember I was listening to Abraham once and I really want to share this with you because the angels were talking about a very, very rainy day and someone went out of the house without their umbrella. And the path of least resistance would have been to go back and get the umbrella because that would have shielded them from the rain and it would have kept them dry. But this person chose not to do that and to carry on. And they ended up getting wet through and feeling tired and cold and becoming ill. And they give me fear and that causes fear and anxiety and struggle because you know, they give me a lot of fear there. They didn't take the time to go back and get the umbrella. So always choose the path to peace, the path of least resistance, the path where you lead by example. You know, it would have been the best example to go back and get the, the you know, the raincoat or the umbrella, especially if they were out with their kids or, you know, someone else. So, and that, you know, I do things like that. Your George says, oh, just leave it you know and I make sure I do get it or I do take a hat or gloves or whatever so choose the path today that leads you to peace and the path that leads to peace is forgiveness letting go of the past releasing it waving goodbye to it remember don't look back in anger that's a famous song for a reason don't look back in anger don't look back and resent things or wish that things had been done differently or beat yourself up over it thinking, if I'd have only done this, if I'd have only said that, I may be in union now. But it never works that way. Everything happens the way it was meant to. For soul growth, for healing and learning. And the past can't be changed. It can only be accepted and blessed. And that's the message coming through today. So lead by example. Forgive, heal, trust your intuition and know your truth. Be gentle, be kind, be loving with yourself as much as with everyone else and that will lead you where you're meant to be and Jesus all around you loving you today giving you sign synchronicities showing the robins remember but I feel that you could see a Santa today ringing a bell that's what they're showing me or you know you may get waved at today by someone dressed as a Santa or someone wearing big black boots or a red coat so that's what I'm feeling I'm feeling spiders especially if you remember and you've watched the members reading so we've got spiders, we've got black, big black boots, we've got a red coat, we've got a Santa energy coming in here, we've also got this energy of power, you know, this light as well, lambs, shepherds, you know, those shepherd bow peep type things that they have, you know what they are, and they're giving me that beautiful emerald green light too, so a lot of power coming in. So let me know in the comment section what amazing signs you see. And I love as the further we get on in this Advent calendar, the more unique signs the angels are showing to you. And they're giving you many options. It's not like you're just going to see one thing. They're going to show you in many, many ways. So they're going to blow your mind again today with the signs that are coming to you. But lead by example, be you, shine your light brightly and love the season to be jolly because there's magic flowing in. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon. Oh, and I've got red on, so red, red sign. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.